fact, one of the most important studies that we made uh, during the beginning was in Karur. You know, Karur is a very important place in India in terms of exports. Karur is an important handloom, uh, handmade textiles export center. You know, they make these uh, screen cloths, table cloths, etc. So they export to all parts of the world. Uh, Europe, America, Africa, Latin America, all parts of uh, the world. And they are native entrepreneurs. When we went there, we came to understand that there are, there were hundreds of small uh, non-corporate finance entities functioning there. In fact, there is a story behind it. In 2001, uh, they invited uh, um, Sri Gurumurthy to give a lecture for their annual meeting. You know, they have district financial, uh, sorry, district association, Karur district, Chit Fund and uh, Finance uh, Owners Association. So he, they invited us. So we went there and then um, we discussed with them. We came to know that there were hundreds of business entities um, in the finance sector functioning in Karo. So they told us, sir, that this, these are the finance entities that are supporting the export sector. We were surprised. Then later, I took uh, our own postgraduate management students to go and study there. And we, when we started collecting data, we came to understand the realities. After the end of the, our studies, we came to know that at that time, 2001-2, uh, uh, there were 54 bank branches, branches of nationalized bank in Karur. In fact, Karur people uh, promoted uh, two scheduled banks, you know, Lakshmi Vilas Bank, Karur Vilas Bank, about 100 years back. Today, this Karur Vaishya Bank and Lakshmi Vilas Bank have their operations throughout the country, promoted by people of Karur. At that time, it was not even a district uh, headquarters. But even then, there were two important scheduled banks functioning at the national level. There were 54 bank branches. But even then, people did not go and borrow money from these banks. So we went to this uh, Karur Vaisya Bank and uh, Lakshmi Vilas Bank, had a meeting with the chairman and the board of directors and asked them, when people need funds, why are you not giving funds? They said, sir, we are having funds. Only thing, they do not come to us. At that time, Karur export was uh, 2,400 crores. And these banks were providing only one third of the funds required for them. Remaining two thirds were coming from these very small finance entities. So we went to the exporters. In fact, they organized a meeting of exporters. And we went to them and then asked them, when your own banks, banks in your own place, when they are having funds, why are you not going to them? They said, Sir, you know the export business. The export business, you know, we have to complete the jobs within one month, two months, three months, within the allotted time. It is a high pressure work. So whenever we get an order, we have to execute it immediately. So we may need funds immediately. So when we go to the banks, banks have their own structural issues. Rigidities are there. You know, we have to go and submit documents and it may take some time. Then they have to verify. All this involves delay. But when we go to our local financier, who is normally, you know, one of our own acquaintance, either relative or friends, they immediately uh, give funds to us. In fact, we need not even go to them. Just we make a phone call and then he will ask, when do you want money? So the money will come to us. And uh, in, mo in most of the cases, there is no verification because being local people, they know our background. So based on the background, they give money. So money comes to us. So we borrow and then uh, we invest immediately. So the work gets completed. We asked them, are you not paying high in rates of interest compared to bank rates? They said, yes, we pay high rates of interest, but we don't mind because we get money immediately. And uh, similarly, you know, sometimes we may not be able to repay the money. If uh, that happens in bank, then banker will come to us and then trouble us. But here there is no problem. We immediately tell our uh, financier that we will not be able to give money within the time specified. He will extend time, no problem. So this is how um, 
we borrow money as a result of which export business is growing. Then we came to know the finance entities promoted by local people, they have their own systems. For example, whenever they want to give loans, they already know the background of most of the entrepreneurs. And even if they do not know, they will immediately check. And most of the time, in, in almost all the cases, they don't uh, ask for bludging. They don't ask for documentation because they know the background. And in uh, the case of these uh, non-corporate finance entities, either one or more of the partners should recommend. If the borrower fails to repay, then partners take the responsibility. So there is no loss for the finance entity. So that is why we have seen recovery rate is almost 100% certain, no failure. Because if somebody fails, one of the borrowers, sorry, one of the financiers take the responsibility for us. And this is how they have been functioning, functioning for several decades. So we made a documentation, we came to know that the main reason for the growth of the export sector in Karur was largely due to the small uh, business entities functioning under the non-corporate sector. And these finance entities were uh, promoted by two or more number of people, mostly relatives and friends from the local area. And you will be surprised to know that there is credit sharing mechanism in, in uh, the Karur among the non-corporate uh, entities. You know, if one person fails to repay the money, then the financier will not think we should keep it as a secret. You know, the financier immediately informs the others also so that others are protected from uh, uh, their uh, supposed failure because others will not give money to the same person. So this kind of relationship is there because that is a relationship-oriented society. In fact, we have to understand in India, business is largely based on relationships. Business is largely based on faith, goodwill. This is an important reason for the development of business activities in India. This we have to understand.